Starting on the landing page, you will find two choices, Create My Account or Sign In. If you are not a registered user, you will need to click on Create My Account, which will lead you to the Getting Started box. This box contains four choices, Customer, Employee, Manufacturer Rep, and Other. Choose your category. Click on Customer. If you are a customer of Heatcraft, you will find a drop-down menu asking for the customer number and the zip code. After typing your customer number and zip code, click on Add Profile Information. This will take you to Step 2. The other three categories will go directly to Add Profile. Type your name, last name, and email address. Then, create your password. You have to meet the criteria to have an accepted password. The box for receiving news and updates is pre-selected and you can unselect if desired. Note, you will also see a referred by field where you may enter the name of someone who referred you to the hub. When accepted, choose your job function from the drop-down menu that describes your position in your company and also your company type, which also has its own drop-down menu. These two fields are only available to the customer and other users. Click on Add Profile Address. This moves you to Step 3. If you are a Heatcraft customer, you will find that the boxes are already pre-populated. However, you will be asked to add your phone number. If you are not a current Heatcraft customer and you selected one of the other three categories, Employee, Manufacturer Rep, or Other, you will have to fill out the fields requesting entry of your company name and address. For verification purposes, you will be asked to check on the box, I am not a robot. If you accept all the terms and conditions, you can read the terms and conditions by clicking on the link. Check the box, then click Complete Registration. You will receive a confirmation through your email that your registration has been submitted. With the same email, you should be able to activate your account by clicking here, which will land you on the login page. You will be granted temporary access and can log in using the credentials that you created during registration. Meanwhile, your registration will go through verification and acceptance processes, and if accepted, you will receive an email stating, Account Activated by Administrator. This will now grant you full access to the site based on your role and permissions.